<laughs> oh god. Yeah. Yeah, went to Spirit this week. Whoops. <laughs> so if you guys haven't seen earlier this week, I went to Spirit Halloween with my friend Lindsay and we did this new thing called like a Disney merch search. Now, this is something I would like to continue doing for the channel. If you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna link it above and also down below for you. I would love to know your feedback on it, if you enjoyed it, because I would love to do more videos like that. It was super duper fun. We had an absolute blast and Lindsay's obsessed with Halloween, so she just like lived for everything in the store, which is always fun to go and like experience that with other people. But Spirit is jam packed full of super duper amazing Disney merchandise. I did not expect <laughs> to buy as much as I did, but there were certain things that I just like could not pass up for my Halloween collection and also like my regular like costumey collection as well. Also Telly's here, so if you see her tail, Telly come here, let's say hi to everybody. Telly Belly's here. <laughs> um, so if you see a tail around here or if you hear scratching, she loves scratching on paper and also on plastic bags and I have a big one in front of me. So I'll try to keep the noise down to a minimum. So I don't have any rhyme or reason to how we're gonna start this video. I'm just gonna start grabbing things out of the bag and showing you what I got. So here are the things that we purchased from Spirit Halloween. Okay, so first of all, this was a last minute buy at the register. We saw this really cute slinky dog LED jack-o-lantern and he does light up but he is out of battery someone left him on at the store so i can't exactly show you right now but here's what he looks like he looks like regular slinky dog but as you can see he's got like a really nice like little groves and like little grooves and his really cute little stem so he very much looks like a jack-o-lantern he's made out of plastic he was four dollars and 99 cents i think this is super cute next year for the display my goal was to do a Pixar Halloween shelf. And so I'm hoping that this is going to be like maybe the centerpiece for that, like for the lighted feature. Cause I try to do like one lighted feature per shelf. So love a little slinky dog. Also have your stores opened. Um, I had a couple people comment that their spirit Halloweens weren't open yet. And I thought ours was kind of late in the game, like opening last week. So I would love to know if yours has opened yet. And also, I'm so sorry, I didn't realize that like um, other countries didn't have Spirit Halloween. For some reason, I thought I had heard that other countries had it, but I was completely mistaken. So I think Canada has it. Doesn't Canada have it? Anyway, Canadians, would you let me know? I'm very curious. So next, we got this really fun Haunted Mansion light up decor panel. Now I showed this on the video and I thought this was so intriguing. They actually had two different versions of this. One was a Hocus Pocus. This one is Haunted Mansion, but this one says three thumbs up. Adorable. I want to hang this in my living room during Halloween. And so I'm hoping that I can find a window small enough to fit this. We have really large windows in our living room. If it doesn't work out, I will have to like hang it just on the wall. But it's really neat because it actually lights up and it's made of lace. And so there's all the three hitchhiking ghosts. It's got like a spooky tree. And then there's also some bats. And then there's different points in here that light up. And let me um, see if I can take this out of the packaging to show you. This was $21.99. So here's what the texture of it looks like. Oh, so you actually string the LEDs yourself. And it shows you that's why, okay. So on the back of the packaging, it shows you where the little points of the LEDs should go. So this is a 77 inch by 43 inch panel. And it looks like it can string on like a regular curtain rod. Oh, it's upside down. Oh yeah, I can. So here's like the regular uh, curtain rod. Sorry, it's backwards to you. I apologize guys, here we go. So it says three thumbs up. And then there's like a crow. This is humongous. Oh, interesting. Okay, so it basically shows you where they would put the lights, but it doesn't look like there's any specialty like holders or anything for the lights. So you probably just poke them through the lace would be my guess. Ooh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna wanna do that. I don't know if I want to 
um, damage the lace because it is a very delicate. I don't know. We will see. We will see, but that is so cool. They also had a Hocus Pocus one. I'm not the biggest Hocus Pocus person. I'm more of like a Halloween Town gal. Uh, when I was little, I just never got into Hocus Pocus. It just wasn't for me. Are you, okay, are you Halloween Town or are you Hocus Pocus? I know that there's usually a divide, like usually one person likes one or the other. Let me know down in the comments down below. I'm a big, I mean, I love, I am obsessed with Halloween Town. And I know that Hocus Pocus 2 is coming out. I'm excited, but... It's a take it or leave it for me. It's a take it, oh my gosh, which is horrible, but it is. Okay, next, I saw this at an end cap for Nightmare Before Christmas and I fell in love with it because I think it's gonna be so beautiful on the display. And this is a zero jewelry tray. It has zero and he is in a little tray that's supposed to be his little dog bed. And then you can lay little pieces of jewelry inside to hold your jewelry. I want to show you what this looks like because I think this is going to be the cutest display piece and I am so excited about it. Ah! Look at him! He's just hanging out in his bed. Zero is my favorite character from Nightmare Before Christmas. He's like living his best life in this little tray. There is his little nose with the pumpkin and it has great detail and it's also painted really well. And then there's little like a skull and crossbones, but they're little doggies, like little puppy skull crossbones. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. I love this so much. I think this is such a phenomenal piece and it's gonna be so very perfect for my shelving. Oh yes, I love this so much. So, so much. So that was $21.99. Oh my gosh, the other thing that we learned is that in Alaska, cause that's where we live, in Alaska, basically almost, basically every like larger piece of merchandise that was at Spirit Halloween was anywhere from five to $20 more than what is in the lower 48. Isn't that interesting? Okay, next. I have a very, very adorable little happy haunting snow globe. I also fell in love with these right at the cash register. I'm gonna take the little tag off so you can see her a little bit better. But here is Constance Hatchaway as a little snow globe. And it has like a little bow and bouquet and her little hatchet for murdering her husbands, y'all. And then it has a really fun orange and black like sparkle inside of the snow globe and it says happy haunting it doesn't say haunted mansion on it anywhere which i kind of appreciate because a lot of the things that they have at spirit oddly have the logo of haunted mansion on them and i'm like we don't need the logo we know what it is like i don't need something with a logo on it kind of like this guy this guy has the disney's haunted mansion at the bottom like we could have done without that is kind of how i feel about it so i was very appreciative that there was some like Haunted Mansion merchandise that didn't have the logo on it. Spirit Halloween, please take note, $8.99. And I don't have anything constants. I, I, well, no, I take that back. I have like a, a fantasy pin that's a combo of Vanessa being the, uh, Vanessa from The Little Mermaid being Constance Hatchaway, but I don't think that counts because this is like actual Constance. Okay, next, I have another light up little pumpkin jack-o'-lantern guy. And this is Zero. So they had Zero. Again, Zero is my absolute favorite. So here he is as a little jack-o'-lantern. Oh my gosh, I think he has batteries. Oh my goodness. Yay! Okay, so here he is lit up. And oh my goodness, he's super duper cute. So I just think he's gonna look so lovely on the shelf. And yes, he his little pumpkin nose is a jack-o'-lantern in case you were wondering. These are so cute. I love these. These are $4.99. They have almost all of the characters from Nightmare. They had even had Dr. Finkelstein. And then they also had a bunch of Toy Story characters. And I heard that they also have Disney villains. Our store did not have Disney villains, but I did hear that they have them. So I got these. Now this is kind of a random purchase, but at the 
checkout counter, I found all of these little toothpick holders, um, also known as shot glasses. Okay, Disney, can we just call them shot glasses? Come on now. So these are really fun because I thought it would be nice to like populate my shelves behind me with some smaller items that like represented characters that may not be there, like may not be represented in other merchandise. So I got Lock, Shock and Barrel. I thought this was super duper duper cute. So there's Lock, Shock, and Barrels. Like they're looking out from a house and it's got this like really pretty like purple design. And these were each $1. Then I also got this little Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice one. I thought this would be great for my horror movie shelf. And then I was gonna put some paper or something in the bottom and then put my small miniature Beetlejuice Funko inside of this because I thought that would be super cute. And then I got this one. This is Foolish Mortal and it's for Haunted Mansion, obviously, because it's got the logo on it. I got it because I want to face Foolish Mortal out. I don't need the logo. <laughs> Have you guys noticed this? Okay, here's another one. The Haunted Mansion. In case you didn't know. Thank you. But dudes, my friends, look at how cool this design is. It's got 1313, it's got Madame Leota, the wallpaper, it's got the bats, it's got skulls, it's got little hands with little eyes in them. It is so, so very cool. So I wanted to face the pattern outwards and have it displayed on my shelf because I think it would be really nice. And I think that the Haunted Mansion shelf that you can't really see in the frame is one of the best like Halloween shelves I put together. So I'm trying to continue on that bandwagon with adding some fun creative things. So speaking of, I ended up getting the actual official Haunted Mansion uh, sign. So this is a resin sign. It's six inches by 10 inches. So it's pretty decent. It's very, very heavy, <laughs> very heavy. It does have the capability to be hung in both ways, which is nice. $24.99, but how beautiful is this? And yes, it's like three dimensional. So like the Haunted Mansion is actually curved, which is really nice. And it has this nice frame. I do have a Haunted Mansion um, item that's similar to this, but it's actually a bar of soap and it's old and it's falling apart. And so I can no longer use it continuing on with my Halloween display. So I decided to replace it with an actual resin sign. And I'm so thankful that I did because I think this is absolutely beautiful. And they've done such a good job on the merchandise for Haunted Mansion from Spirit Halloween. I'm just perpetually impressed by what they're creating for Haunted Mansion. So absolutely love this. And I think it's gonna look so nice. And this is the only costume piece that I got. So it's funny, when I saw this in the store, I was thinking, I'm like, if I don't get that, there's gonna be a time in my life where I wished that I could wear this Woody belt. <laughs> for a Woody, Disney bound, a cosplay, a Halloween costume. I don't know, but Buckle Down Products, one of the best belt companies, and also crossbody bag companies, by the way, do not sleep on their crossbody bags or their seat belts, like their crossbody straps. If you're looking for a good crossbody strap themed to a character. Anyway, this is not a Buckle Down advertisement. I just love Buckle Down. Buckle Down Products created this. This is a legitimate, actual, woody belt and it is big and it is adult sized and i am living for this belt it was 24 dollars 99 it is an actual leather belt like for adults and i'm i'm so happy about it and then check out this belt buckle yeah real absolutely real belt buckle how amazing is this item this is gonna be so adorable. I thought it'd be so cute to dress as Woody, but maybe like as a cowgirl style with a little denim skirt. Wear the belt. Go to Pixar Pier, have some times. Woo! Yes, absolutely yes. I'm so into this belt. I would love to know what you guys think about this belt. I'm hoping. Have you seen more buckle down belts that are like this? I have only seen like the Disney D and those sorts of things, but cosplay belts, buckle down. Literally, buckle down, like, please make more is what I mean. And next we have like the, uh, in my opinion, the best item from this haul. And this is a wildly cool item. Like I am so very excited about this. This is the 
hanging bat. So these are the bats that are from the ride itself that is made of metal. This thing is heavy, heavy. It's eight inches by 12 inches. It is massive as well. And it looks a little bit weathered. So it does have like this look about it that makes it look like it has this like patina to it. And the details of this are so stunning. And I just love, it's like an actual replica from the decorations outside of the ride. I just think this is so, so neat. It's got a chain where you can actually hang it from and it does hang from both of the ends of the bat wings. And he does have like little hair kind of sticking out the back. So he is like very three dimensional. I think uh, the width of him is, yeah, two and a half inches. So he does have a little bit of thickness to him, a little bit of thick thickness to him, which we absolutely love. He's standing on a little uh, ball and kind of gripping onto it. But man, is this like, the absolute coolest thing. Let's take a peek at it out aside of the packaging because I just think the packaging like prevents it from actually being um, fully appreciated. Oh, we are obsessed. So here he is. And wow, this item is so amazing. I cannot wait to display him. He is gonna have to be actually nailed to the wall because he is so heavy. He would rip down a command hook like no one's business. <gasps> the detailing. Oh my gosh, I am seriously obsessed with this item. $31.99. I do believe that he is cheaper for you guys in the lower 48 if you're watching from the lower 48 in the United States. Oh, Spirit Halloween is so fun. I would love to know if you have visited what you have purchased to add to your collection or maybe what costume or what you're gonna be this year for Halloween. And let's talk Halloween down in the comments because I am so happy that spooky season is back. If you're interested again in seeing that Disney merch search at Spirit, I'll make sure to leave it down in the description box down below. Let me know what you think of that video. And also let me know what you think of this one. Thank you so much for being here guys. And Telly and I will see you in the next one. TTFN. Bye. Say bye, dudes.